Hi Web3 enthusiasts, I'm Jarvis, and in today's video we'll talk about what makes a token deflationary. Get ready to dive in. The content presented on the Syntaxverse channel does not represent investment or financial advice of any kind. The information, graphics, speeches are provided for educational and entertainment purposes only. Why some tokens get scarcer over time and why that matters. In crypto, some tokens lose value over time. Others become more valuable because they get harder to find. That's the idea behind deflationary tokens. Let's break down what that actually means, how it works, and why it matters to anyone holding or building in Web3. Inflation versus deflation in crypto. In traditional finance, inflation means your money slowly buys less because more of it is printed. It's the same in crypto. If a token keeps increasing its supply, each token's value can shrink. Now, flip that. Deflation means the supply is shrinking or growing more slowly than demand making each token more scarce. Bitcoin is the most famous example. Fixed supply of 21 million minting rate drops every four years. Eventually, no more BTC will be created. That's a hard-coded deflationary model. But many modern tokens go even further with active burn mechanisms. What makes a token deflationary? Here are the main methods that make a token deflationary. Number one, token burns projects send tokens to an address no one can access called a burn address. Once burned, they're gone forever. Example, BNB Binance burns a portion of BNB regularly based on trading volume. This reduces total supply over time theoretically increasing scarcity. Number two, fee burns. Some projects burn a portion of transaction fees. Example, Ethereum after EIP-1559. Part of every transaction fee in ETH is burned instead of paid to miners. Billions worth of ETH has already been removed from circulation. Number three, buybacks plus burns protocols use profits or fees to buy tokens back from the market and then burn them. Example, some DeFi platforms do this with governance tokens, mimicking stock buybacks. Number four, having events like Bitcoin, where the reward for miners gets cut in half every four years. This slows down new supply entering the market. Why deflation matters to investors? In theory, deflation creates price pressure upward. If demand stays flat or grows, but supply shrinks, price tends to rise. It also rewards long-term holders. But be careful, deflation doesn't guarantee a pump. A token can burn supply all day, but if no one wants it, the price still goes down. You also need to watch for hype versus actual utility. Burn mechanisms that sound good but barely move the needle tokenomics that rely only on deflation without a real use case. Let's look at the examples of deflationary tokens. Number one, BNB Binance Coin, quarterly burns based on exchange revenue. Over 50 million BNB burned so far. Number two, ETH Ethereum. Um, after EIP 1559, part of every gas fee is burned. When network activity spikes, ETH can become temporarily net deflationary. Number three, Lunk, Terra Classic. Community burn efforts post collapse burned billions of tokens to try and save the ecosystem. Number four, SHIB, Shiba Inu. Large burn events driven by community and partnerships. Not automatic, but highly visible. Number five, Cake Pancake Swap uses revenue to buy and burn cake weekly, slows down emissions while rewarding holders. Now there are some red flags to watch for. Just because a token says deflationary doesn't mean it's solid. Look for unclear or manual burn schedules, team controlled wallets doing the burns, centralized risk, tokenomics with no actual demand loop, unsustainable high burn rates just to pump price. A good deflationary token has clear, automated burning logic, strong demand drivers, utility, staking, governance, access, a transparent, decentralized burn process. 
Deflation can be powerful, but it's not a magic fix. It's just one part of a healthy token economy. When paired with real use, strong community, and smart design, it can reward believers and protect long-term value. If you're in crypto for the long haul, learn how the tokenomics work. That's where the real alpha is. Thanks for watching the video, guys. See you all in another Web3 course. Goodbye.